Hi, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in part five of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Movie Studio Platinum. Here in part five, we'll look at some fun stuff here. We've got a little project on our timeline, and we're going to add some effects to it. Now, Vegas Movie Studio Platinum comes with a full complement of video and audio effects, some great ones here, but they can be applied in a number of ways. So you can apply at its most basic, an effect to an event or a clip on your timeline. And you can do that by simply clicking on the little FX button here on the right end of an event. That's the simplest way to do it. But you can also apply an effect to an entire track at once. So if I click on this effects button and I launch the plugin panel or the menu here for selecting your effect, it's going to be applied to every single event or clip that's on that particular audio or video track. You can also apply an effect to your entire movie at once. So if I go over here to the master window here on the right and I click on effects, that will apply a master effect to the entire audio of the entire movie. Or here on the preview window, I can click on this effects and I can apply an effect, say the old movie effect or film effects. I can add that and apply that effect to your entire movie in one uh, fell swoop. So let's remove that. You can also apply an effect to a clip while it's still in the project media panel. So I can right click on a particular clip and I can select media effect and this will pre-apply the effect. Now why would I want to do that? Well for instance if I got a shaky clip I can apply for instance the stabilizer to it. And if I apply the stabilizing effect, any time that particular clip is used at any point in my movie, it will be pre-stabilized. So you can pre-apply an effect to a clip before it's even in the movie itself, while it's still in your project media panel. So that's important to understand. Now, you notice that the effects are called plugins. The reason why is because they're technically not hardwired into the program, but they're uh, brought in and kind of linked to the program and because of that you can buy additional effects out there from a variety of sources and then link them or plug them into the program and greatly expand the number of effects that are available in your program. When an effect is applied and I'm just going to select this particular clip or event on the timeline and click on effects and let's go ahead and apply for instance the film I'd like film effects because it's an easy one to see the results of and click add and OK. I have a, an event effect window that opens up here that allows me to customize how that effect is applied. Now I have my playhead over the event on my timeline or over the clip on my timeline. That's important. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see the results of the changes I'm about to make. There are a number of ways to customize your effect. The simplest is to use one of the presets from this drop down menu at the top of any one of the uh, video event effect adjustment panels. And I can make it look like a very old film and you can see the results there on the right. I can make it look like a 1908 film where it's scratchy and beat up and black and white or make it look like a 1980 film where the color is kind of blotchy and it's scratched and beat up also. And in any case, I can also apply some of my own adjustments to it using the sliders. Now. You can have several effects applied to the same clip. This little listing up here of the effects is called the plugin chain, and it will show you a list of all the effects applied to that particular event or clip. So if I wanted to add another effect, I could click on FX plus, go back out here and say, for instance, I wanted to add a swirl effect, click on add. Now you notice that two effects are being applied at once and I can select from the plugin chain which one I want to adjust. So let's take some of the swirl out of that swirl and we've got a partial swirl. Uh, you notice that the order the effects are applied or listed in the chain can make a difference. So I can drag it around and apply the swirl before film effects and it may look a little bit different than if film effects is applied prior to swirl. Now you can turn off an effect by unchecking it, it still remains in the plugin chain. You could just sort of disable it temporarily, or you can select the effect and click on FX Remove, and that will remove the effect. 
Now, audio effects as well as video effects work the same way. Once you apply the effect to your track or your event or your clip or to your movie, any adjustments you made are immediate. You don't have, you don't have to click an OK button or you don't have to click a final button. Uh, any adjustments you made are made in real time. They're made immediately. And then you can close the panel at any time. And of course, reopen it at any time by again clicking on the FX button. Effects are a lot of fun to play with. Have fun with them. I don't recommend you overuse them, but they can greatly enhance your movie when used with discretion. <laughs> I'm Steve Rizzetti. I hope you join me for part six of our eight-part series, Basic Training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum.